To get started with modding GTA San Andreas, you will need to know the most common file types used in mods, and how to extract and open them so that they can be used to create your own. There is plenty of software and tools that you can use to modify these files, but for the sake of this tutorial you will only need TXD Workshop, Magic TXD and Collision Editor. TXD Workshop is used for opening IMG archives. These archives primarily contain 3D assets. This tool allows you to extract and replace those contents. Magic TXD is an advanced TXD editor. This tool allows you to perform mass actions for setting up, exporting or editing several TXD files and their contents at once. Collision Editor is used for viewing, manipulating and importing or exporting collisions. Collisions are used for physics and are essential to making a working mod. If you open your game installation folder, you will see a wide range of files these are used to run the game. We are not going to look at them in this video. The installation folder contains subfolders such as animation, audio, data, and models. We will first look at IMG archives. Start up TXD Workshop and open GTA3.IMG. On your left side you will see a list of the assets that we spoke about earlier in this video. To reiterate, these are the file types we are interested in. .img, this file is a storage for other files to reside in. You can open this file using TXD Workshop or any other IMG archive editor. .txt, this is an archive that contains textures used for one or even multiple game models. You can open this file using TXD Workshop, Magic TXD, and other modding tools. .call. This is an archive which may contain one or even multiple collision models for multiple game models. You can open this file using Steve M's Collision Editor, as well as 3D software and other modding tools. .dff. This is a 3D model format that contains the geometry and effects seen on models. You can open this file using DFF viewers and other 3D software. .ifp. This is an archive which may contain multiple animations used for objects, vehicles, and characters. You can open this file using GTA Animation Manager, 3D software, and other modding tools. .ipl. This is a text file that contains the world coordinates of objects. You can open this file using any text editor. .ide. This is a text file that contains object properties, such as what time of the day they appear in the world. You can open this file using any text editor. With that in mind, you will now learn how to extract those files and correctly sort them into their own area on your computer. Create a new folder somewhere on your computer, such as your desktop. Name it GTA SA Assets. Inside of GTA SA Assets, create five new folders. Name them Cutscene, Interior, GTA 3, Player, IPL and IDE. Inside of GTA 3, create four new folders. Name them Collisions, Textures, Models, IFP. Inside of Collisions, create two new folders. Name them Archives, Single. Inside of Textures, create three new folders. Name them Archives, Single, Single Prefix TXD Name. Inside of Models, you will not need to create any folders. You may opt to creating folders for skins, vehicles, and objects if you so desire. Inside of IFP, you will not need to create any folders. Inside of IPL and IDE, create two new folders. Name them readable, non-readable. With TXT Workshop and GTA3.IMG open, click the top file, scroll down to the bottom and shift click the bottom file. Extract these files into GTA SA Assets folder and move each file type into their respective folder. You can do this by opening the GTA SA Assets folder in two file browser windows. Keep window 1 in GTA SA Assets folder. Keep window 2 in the folder you are moving files into. In window 1, your default sorting may be by name. Instead, you will want to set it to sort by file type. Select all COLs. 
and drag and drop them into Windows 2's Collisions Archives folder. Select all TXDs and move them into Textures Archives folder. Select all DFFs and move them into Models folder. Select all IFPs and move them into IFP folder. In the IPL and IDE's non-readable folder, create a folder named GTA3. Select all IPLs and move them into the folder you just created. You can delete the node data files as they are not needed. You will now need to split up the files further for easier management. Open the Collision Editor. Click File, New, to start a new project. Click Edit, Add, and import everything from the Collision's Archives folder. This may take a while, or even crash the program. If that is the case, simply add half, or less at once. Click the top file in the list. Scroll down to the bottom of the list and shift click the bottom file. Right click and select export to single collision files. Locate your collision single folder and close the collision editor when done. You can now locate every collision models with ease, as their file names are the same as their corresponding DFF. Open Magic TXD. Click Tools, Mass Export. In Game Root, specify the location of your TXDs. As Output Root, specify the texture's single folder. Tick the With Texture Name Only option. Select PNG as image format. Repeat this process, but with the prepended with TXD name option and choose the texture's single prefix TXD name folder instead. Having these two folders allows you to have one folder for every texture in the game, with some textures missing because some models share the same texture name. To work around this issue, you have the option to mass export textures with their TXD name prepended, or in their own folders. The IPL files that you have extracted from GTA3.IMG are compiled. This means they cannot be read and need to be converted. The IPL files stored outside of IMG archives, on the other hand, can be read and edited using any text editor. For our convenience, the readable IPL files are already located in their own folders. You can locate these in GTA San Andreas installation folder. Click Data, and then Maps. For the cutscene, interior, and player IMG archives, you will need to repeat what you have learned in this video. With everything extracted, you are now ready to delve deeper into modding.